Oh, so we're going to pretty much look at the reading for like it's a general reading, but um, it may or may not apply to everybody in the room. But keep in mind, it is a general reading. So, um, did I get all that? Okay. So I wanted to do a quick little reading because it's it's really not my bad. I'm like in my bed clothes, <laughs> so. I wanted to kind of go over something because it's been heavily on my mind. And by the way, I will be doing free readings tomorrow in the morning because I got really caught up in readings from um, from today. I'm sorry. I got a lot of shit going on at one time. So if I seem like it's taking me forever, it is. It's, it's one of those nights. I had to work double. So all right, so um, let's get to the reading. Uh, I wanted to talk to you guys about the movie Sprung. I don't know if you guys ever seen it. I need to look it up. It, I know the actors, but I don't know the actors in there. So I want to get them right. All right. I actually own this movie. I believe so. Okay, let's see. It's a black movie. It's about a man who wants to make a movie that's about love. That's a black movie. All right. So Rusty Cundiff, he's the one that made the movie. Um, also, Joe Torrey is in there. And Tisha Campbell and Paula J. Parker. They're both in this movie. Now, if you've ever seen this movie, you know that um, there was a girlfriend she didn't want to be in love. She wasn't trying to hear nothing. And there was another girl. She was like a gold digger. She was always meeting all these financially wealthy people. So the girl who was like, she had sex with the guy. And like, it was a bad experience for everybody involved. And the guy ended up going to jail on some really weird shit. Bottom line, um, that shit didn't work out. So it kind of like, well, right, 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 curtains, curtains closed, nigga. It was not going nowhere. All right. So then on top, of it, she had the dude grab his region to pretty much like, what's the word for it? She had made him say some things, recite some lines to embarrass him. John Witherspoon, God rest his soul, was in the movie. All right. So let's, let me stick to the movie because I'll get carried away. If you ever know what's in the movie, the girl, the guy, and the woman end up hitting it off. They the the woman's a bitch, but she's rightfully so one. The guy, eh, he's he's okay. He's really a good guy though. So the woman and the man, they don't want their friends to start talking because that means they're gonna see more of each other, and they don't want to see more of each other. So what they do is. They come up with an agreement to keep these two people from dating. And in that way, if they keep them from dating, they are saving their own dating life by not having to deal with the other person. Can you imagine if you slept with someone and um, it didn't go well, right? And so now, <laughs> now you have to be around this person because your friend is dating their friend. You're, but you wouldn't cock block, would you? That's the question. Would you cock block on your friend if you knew, if you didn't like, I just said it, y'all. If you didn't like their significant other, would you like cut off the relationship? Would you help them get the love of their life? Because I mean, it's not your relationship, it's not your happiness, right? In the beginning of the movie, they were running off to a wedding, but everybody insinuated that maybe it wasn't the uh, Rusty Cundoff's wedding. It was probably um, uh, uh, Paula's wedding, but it was not. It was actually Tisha Campbell's wedding. So she was, well, it wasn't, no, it wasn't. Like, no, it was, no, it was, it was Paula J. Parker's wedding. And it was Joe Torrey's wedding. They got married. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. At the end, these two people have spent so much time trying to keep their friends from dating. They ended up dating. Amazing, huh? Two people were so negative, annoying, 
and controlling, they had very outdated thinking. Like the woman was a gold digger, so so like she only dated men with money. And the guy was like, I don't know, he want he just felt like women were sexual objects to his masculinity. I don't really know. But that's pretty much what I got from it. He was really he was nothing he was not above finessing women for sexual relationships or sexual innuendos. They kind of deserved each other because they both were on some bullshit. One guy was trying to finesse a woman with um, um, bank receipts that weren't even his. I'm like, how you gonna finesse somebody with receipts that ain't yours? Niggas do that shit though. So he dropped the receipt, knowing that her ass was gonna look and kind of she kind of play herself though. You're supposed to do your your homework on motherfuckers, but I guess that didn't happen. Basically, long story short. That goes back to reading the, the motherfucking fine print about niggas before deciding that, you know, maybe this motherfucker ain't right. His motherfucker ain't the best person to mess with. You know why? Because you're too busy trying to fuck. You're too busy trying to get you someone for the night that you're not really paying attention to what this motherfucker really is. Like, let's go back to my reading where I said, remember the Vampire in Brooklyn reference where Angela Bassett never really looked underneath the surface of a motherfucker. She just basically... You know, took a motherfucker's word for it. Like, nah, in this 2021, you can't take nobody's fucking word for it, nigga. I need to see everything. The fuck? Okay, so yeah. So basically, in this situation, these two people were decent people. She was a good person. He was a good person. And she was so used to getting hurt that she was mean. And the guy was a good guy. He just didn't know how to talk or do anything that when he was like a he was like a cute. <laughs> oh damn! Let me say that. He was like a cute. Um, he was like a cute little. Um, he didn't know what to do. He was just so cute. He was like, oh, you know how you ever seen a guy that just has no game? You're like, oh, I want to help him. It was like that. He really didn't have it going on. Now Joe Torrey had all the game, too much game, to the fact that. He got married to the same type of woman that he despised, or did he? No, he married his twin flame because he was trying to impress bitches, and guess what? She was trying to impress dudes that were... Everybody was not who they said they were. She wore a lot of wigs and shit. She changed up her appearance to whatever setting she needed to set to get the kind of man she wanted to get. And women, I'm not going to lie, sometimes we do look for like providers, and so we'll try to switch some things up to, I guess, catch a certain fish. But you might think you got a motherfucking perch and you got catfish. I'm not saying that it is a bad thing if you like catfish, but you may not get what you're thinking you're eating. Um, that's what the Joe Tory reference. Um, so eventually their friends found out that it was them. Because their friends broke them up. They were dating and they were going too fast. And their friends were like, oh no. So they tried to separate these two people with all type of questions and concerns and to throw them off. So they would never think about dating. They end up dating anyway. So they, they spent another time trying to break them up, trying to, you know, give them advice. And they did break up only because of what they thought they saw the other person was doing. Not because of the drama, not because of he say, she say on the rumors. It was because they concocted a situation where Rusty ended up going to a hotel and meeting with a woman who was a prostitute. And she was paid to be there and run into him, but she did not know that. Joe paid her to do that. Now, Joe, on the other hand, he was expecting Rusty to like smash. He didn't really want to. He was like, nah. In the end, this reference goes to how many times have we had friends or we've had people in our corner or we've had people in our lives that have kept us from making really good connections and that's stirred a pot on our ass. Like how many times have we been in situations where we, we are totally certain this is the one and then someone's like, no, 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 look at this. This is what's wrong with the person. And it's like, okay, so it's not fixable? No, no, it can't be fixable. I'm just like, oh, okay. So my, my PSA is to, number one, watch the movie. It's a great movie. But my PSA is to not always believe what people tell you about what people say. 
Like, believe what you see, but always look at that motherfucking vision a little bit extra because illusions can be very deadly. You can look at something and it'd be not exactly what you thought it was. It's shape shifting. Like someone wants you to believe a certain particular idea that doesn't exist. And the, the reason being for it is because either they like you for themselves or they're just causing havoc. Either way, in the Bible, the seven things that most I hate is people that start drama where there is no fucking drama. So, we've all heard this story before. Or maybe you haven't. But some somebody is out there not dating their significant other because of rumors. Rumors, rumors, rumors. Rumors are what kept these two people from being together because they allow their friends to have the to think the best. Well, this person has the best interest for me. They wouldn't want me to be with anyone that would fuck me over. Yeah, of course they would say that. And I mean, technically, she was she was in her mind thinking she was keeping him, keeping her friend from a dog because Joe Tory was a dog. And she said, well, dogs run in packs. But actuality, he was nothing like his friend. Not even close. And that's the assumption that because you hang out with one person, they're the same person. That's not true. That's great. But, you know, I feel like you, there's a, there's a, there's a situation where I feel like how many times have we been thrown off like by people telling us one thing we think that we got it and someone's like no look in this direction number one you you can't maybe again these people could have been looking for something to be wrong with the relationship i think the woman was because she had been hurt so she wasn't gonna be hurt again the guy i kind of feel like he was kind of like oh well really well you must be on that bullshit too i don't really think i don't know i don't get that he was on some bullshit i get that the woman was on it first and so he kind of matched her energy and i know that sometimes we could be really suspicious and i feel like um we we allow situations and we allow people in our lives to throw us off from our journey because we're so busy worried about what this person says and that person says and everything else. And you don't have to, you can make up your own mind. And eventually they did cut out their friends because they said, that's kind of fucked up that you would try to alter or control my way of thinking and my believing like, wow, you know, but unfortunately they didn't, they, you allowed yourself to be controlled. Cause honestly, you wouldn't even be controlled if you were, you know, really what's worth for it you wouldn't be in a position to be taken advantage of if you weren't looking underneath the surface of things. All right. Let's look. Let's look. So what is going on with this narrative? Like, what is going on with the, the um, divine connection? Oh, Come on. All right. I got the three of wands. I got the four of cups reverse, the queen of cups and the emperor. Hmm. The three of wands is like something not being communicated very efficiently. Something is like chaotic. No, no one's receiving anything or something is not getting across. Like there's no opportunity there or something is dead. Um, oh, I hope, oh, oh, um, peace and love. It's a general reading. So whatever comes out, comes out, but it's just a message. If it, if it resonates, cool. If not, then that could be a bummer. Um, go back to the reading. I feel like in this situation, I feel like something, was there like a, I feel like there was a long distance relationship, maybe it, three wands could also be close by, but three, it, it's like a failure to launch something, a failure to receive, a failure to manifest. The four of cups is dating someone, going out on a date, being loved, being caressed, being kissed, or coming out of hiding. Um, The queen of cups is like a person who's very bitter and the, the emperor is a mean, very arrogant man. Someone isn't dating. This, I, someone is not dating. The judgment is like some situation where I feel like 
some decisions were made and they cannot be changed. And we have to accept them and take them for what they are. All right. The three of wands. That would be the strength card. Hmm. Holding on to something, not trying to control the outcome. Something may not work out, and it's not really anyone's fault. Now, going into the reading, the original point that I was trying to make was that sometimes situations don't manifest because we allow outside interferences. Notice that three of wands is the card of three. So there could be third-party interference. But for the most part, I feel like someone is trying to not change the course if it's not meant for them to receive they're supposed to accept the all the situation like let's say for instance rusty and um to, what's her name uh, miss campbell didn't get together in the movie it would have been whatever it was because you can't change what is not part like everybody has free will so or like the people who want their friends to talk to them like in the beginning of the movie, or not the beginning, the end of the movie, the friends are like, oh, we really fucked up. They didn't know they were wrong until like their friends are talking to them. So basically, your friends could be telling you information and they don't even know, they, they don't know how wrong they are until you stop fucking with them. Or they're trying to get you to talk to them. Yeah, the strength card is like taking the most less aggressive path and matching someone's energy with gentleness and compassion. Um, what is the Four of Cups? That is the Two of Wands and the Two of Cups reverse. Okay. Um, someone is not... Okay, two twos equals four, of course, but this is a, a whole different ballgame, different suit. The Two of Cups is incompatibility. This could make someone makes plans and the plans don't match the other person. Aside from the reading, if you're trying to date someone, someone doesn't want to date. This is like someone is not someone blows hot and cold or this situation is on and off. Um, something's at a crossroads. Yeah, this if someone's making a decision about you, they're not going to make a decision. It's going to be bad. If you want to date someone or someone's looking to date, it doesn't work out like it. Someone isn't evenly yoked. Someone isn't interested in the possibilities of relationship. It's just not there. What is the Four of Cups reversed? Um, okay, this like all came out at one time. Oh, one fell. Seven of Cups is clarity. Um, someone is now seeing things. This could be that woman that set up her friend and she started to see like, damn, I was kind of fucked up that I didn't allow my friends to make their own decisions because it looks like underneath this strength card, someone wasn't really trying to have compassion and sensitivity for someone else. They was trying to get what they wanted and cause a whole big situation that went left a group project that was never for the group. It was for selfish interest. It was two couples. One couple was not a good couple. And one couple was making plans. Unfortunately they were together. So I feel like, um, yeah, this situation, seven of cups, someone got clarity about something in regards to like either being set up or finally finding out that someone is not interested in them. I don't know. Let's see. What's the queen of cups? Page of swords, the star, the eight of wands, six of pentacles, ace of cups, king of pentacles. This is talking to someone. Is someone paying some? Yo, I've been getting this story a lot in my readings. And I feel like, yes, there's a person who could be an Aquarian. Someone is going to talk to someone. Or someone is spying on someone. Someone's going to have a conversation. Someone wants to elope, but they don't love this person or this unrequited love. So, yo, there's a Libra or a Scorpio that wants to elope with someone, but this person is not loved or this person loves without being loved back. I don't know what the fuck that is. I don't, wouldn't be in that relationship, honestly, if I'm not going to get the love I deserve. There's a divine masculine that keeps throwing himself in situations and he keeps getting rejected. And he keeps throwing money into it and he still gets rejected. I don't know who the fuck this is. 
it's just weird as hell. What the fuck? It's yeah, this is not working. Like somebody's not it's not working. What's the what's the emperor? The emperor is the moon. Yeah, some dude is confused. There's a man that keeps trying to throw money. Okay. There is a there's a man out here who's in love with a woman that does not love him back. And he is throwing money at this woman, throwing a time, tension, and it is all in vain. It's not going anywhere. I don't know who this is, but it should probably move on. There's many men and women in the situation too, like, yeah, I don't know what the fuck that's about. Either you got friends that complicate your relationships and tell you bad advice, or you literally have your your spouse or girlfriend, boyfriend got somebody else too. All right. Now that shit's gone. What is the collective energy for this? Oh my, it's my niece's birthday. Um, the 11th of July. The sun. Happy moments. Some of y'all can't wait for Leo season because it's like a wish come true thing. You said a little wishing thing. When we were kids, we used to wish on that. We used to blow it out like yeah, the sun is Leo. What is the sun for everybody? Like clarity after a dark day. Finding out something. The two of cups and two of wands. Somebody is getting clarity. I'm telling you, it's about a relationship that's hot and cold that isn't going anywhere. The two of cups is someone that's incompatible with them. It's just not working. What's two of cups, two of wands? The hermit, a Virgo. Yeah. Mm -mm. If you're a Virgo, there is a Virgo man or a Leo. Some This Virgo is giving way too much to a situation. I don't know. This don't look good. The hermit is stubborn. This uh, The hermit, uh, this Virgo person going to do what the fuck they want to do. They believe what they want to believe. And they don't care what nobody says. They going to chase whatever they want. They're going to believe whatever they want. Or it could be an older man because the Virgo card, the Hermit could be a Pisces older man. There's an older man that is, you ever met someone like Johnny Bravo? Like someone just believes they're always attractive and no matter what someone says to them, like you can never kill this person's ego. What's a good person? It's a good ego to have. Johnny, this is like the episode of Johnny Bravo where the guy chases the girl and gets nothing. Like who is this? Yeah, somebody, yo, someone spends a lot of time online watching an old relationship that they don't have time for, or someone, well, obviously got time for it, but someone doesn't have time for them, or someone's in an unrequited relationship. They're making plans, but no, what's all these cards? The devil. Yeah, this is the Capricorn. Someone doesn't like someone. or This is not positive. This is toxic. What's the two of cups and two of wands? It's just no. Page of cups, yeah, no. It's just a no. If, if this was me, I wouldn't do this. This relationship is it's toxic. I'm sorry. It's Page of cups is like abandonment issues, sadness. Mm, I don't know. I, mm -mm. I don't like it. This is not the kind of relationship I would want for my clients. I don't like the 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 hermit reverse because I don't like a person I can't tell something to. Someone's not compatible with someone. Mm. Or someone started a relationship on infidelity and it's going to get found out. I don't know. This is like rejection of something. Someone rejects somebody or someone feels rejected or the page of cups is like unrequited love or things that didn't work out. I don't know. Let's see what's going to happen with this situation while I move on to the next one. What's going to be the outcome of this? With On paper, it looks like. It's, yeah. The king of pentacles, a man, a financially beneficial, a, a financially beneficial guy. What is the King of Pentacles? What's going to happen to all that? The justice. That's it. It's like, yeah, Ten of Swords could be healing, but 
I don't like the tennis stories because it when I learned to roll, it meant like not fucking with someone again. Someone could, justice could be reviewing something or looking into something. The two of swords could be like overcoming something. Mm, I don't know. What's the two of swords? Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I just don't like this seven of pentacles. Not reverse though. What's seven of pentacles? Mm, nope. I don't know about that. All right. If I wanted to be super positive, like the psychic readers on Facebook, I would just say, like, this relationship has ran out of time because of someone being unsure about the connection ending. And then someone works out and makes something together. But I that's not how I read. The Seven of Pentacles is like failure to bring something together as a third party is not working. This the three of pentacles is about building something. These are gears that build towards something. It's just no. Something it, I would say if it was by itself, I'd be like, yes. But with the seven of pentacles though, I'm just like yeesh. The lovers in the world, like something is over. Or the lovers is like People wanting different things. I don't know. This is very interesting. <laughs> All right. I'm leaving it alone. All right. Um, so yeah. I don't know what the fuck that's about. Um, so yeah, um, that was a very interesting snippet because I was talking about one thing and then it kind of went to another thing. I can't see. Hold on. All right. All right. So What's the resolvement? Oh, high priest at the bottom of the deck. What's the resolvement? So, um, for those people who listen to people without really like trying to see the bottom side or trying to see the, the service between things, what what advice was very high for you about listening to your friends? The devil reverse, the sun reverse, and the two of cups. Be your own person. The devil is about reclaiming your power. The sun is like negativity. And the two of cups is like a union. If you're dating someone and your friends don't approve, set up for your relationship. Don't allow someone to tell you, oh, you know, look at that. Just do what you got to do, honestly. Um, I feel like spirit is wanting you to take control and be in power of your own situations. And just, yeah. I feel like you should not allow people to come in and say certain things if they are not like a psychic. Even psychics like, I don't give a damn. But like, you know your relationship better than anybody else. I feel like friends are a big factor. Like they really do try to control or manipulate situations. And I feel like there's that one friend out there, if you're dating someone, I feel like they don't like that person because they don't like the per. Like, yeah, I, again, I feel like someone slept with someone they didn't like and the friends started dating and they're like, oh, no, we can't have this. And they tried to ruin a relationship because they didn't want to be bothered with that person. Like, it ain't got to be friends. Maybe the guys never knew each other at all, but I feel like it's a couple that's trying to keep it away from each other. I don't know. Any more advice about if you were run Rusty Con, uh, if you're the guy that's the good guy, what advice they have for you? Let's see, Queen of Swords. Yeah, they want you to get um and stand free, be independent. Yeah, stand up for your girl. That'll be standing up for your woman. If you're uh, Tisha Campbell, what they want you to do? I feel like they want you to let's see the judgment. Look at situations deeply. Six of Swords, and let things go. Don't let them surface in harbor. It's not good for you. Um, for the people that were trying to set the people up, though, what advice do they have for you? Yeah, they said y'all some badass friends. Three of Cups it immediately came out. It's a water sign. Fire sign doing this? Someone is not a good friend. Someone is trying to stop a relationship. This is like, the high priestess could be like people in your ear. 
someone is giving somebody money to do this, like be in someone's ear about somebody else. I don't know. Eight of Wands could be like jealousy. It, it's like a woman in your ear telling you about certain people so you stop fucking with them. Someone is being paid to do this, to keep your shit rocky, foundational rocky. I don't know. It look crazy as hell. Be careful about your friends giving you relationship advice if they never had a fucking relationship that you ever seen beyond six months to a year. If that motherfucker ain't keep dating, serial dating, then you know it's some bullshit. Ten of Swords came out. This could be a Capricorn, Aquarius male. Yeah. Yeah, Eight of Wands is like, yeah, chaos. Something's not working out. I'm telling you. Jealousy. I feel like the man and the woman, the man and the woman were jealous. I feel like you gotta be careful what you give your energy to. All right. That has been the reading for tonight. Um, don't listen to your friends. Make up your own mind. And on top of that, if you ever feel like you don't know what to believe, always pray beforehand. It always gives you clarity. It gives me clarity. And make sure you reevaluate people you take advice from. And um, yeah. And also, Divine Masculine, don't be sitting up here throwing yourself at some woman that don't want you. Leave it alone. If the person don't want you, they don't want you. You can't make them want you. And if you're a woman, you can't make some man love you by using voodoo spells, magic, but it doesn't work. The person has to love you first. All right. So that's been the reading for tonight. I will be back on probably in a few hours because I'm sleep. I've been sleeping like that because I've been like so excited for some reason, for no reason. I just wake up and excited for the day. I'm like, what the fuck? I like SpongeBob. All right, so I'll see you later. Bye.